600 Kern County veterans gathered at Stramler Park to get the services they need today. It's the annual veteran stand down. All participating vets and their families were provided with a broad range of necessities and services, things like food, clothing, medical attention. There were also referrals to many programs with almost 60 service providers on hand to help out. There were also nearly 400 volunteers there. Stand down is a military term that describes exhausted troops removed from the stress of combat to a place of safety and security. 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas shows us why this year's stand down was the biggest and best yet. I am folding, folding and sorting clothing for our male veterans to come through and pick out things that they need. At the Kern County Vet Stand Down, it's all about vets helping vets. I'm a veteran myself and I know the struggle of what it is to come home. Veterans can get everything from a shower to a job to legal help, and it's all free. It's a pretty good feeling to be able to give, be that helping hand. The barber is always one of the most popular places at the stand down. The barbers are still in school and welcome the practice. You're here helping people that serve the country. Everything here is geared to help the men and women who served our country. Think of like, uh, the ambulance guys, the paramedic. A paramedic? Yeah. Okay. During the first Gulf War. This and veteran do that. saw action on the front lines during the first Gulf War in the early 90s. That's when the explosions happened for us? Yeah. And yeah, that's where some of my friends didn't come back. The plan was to go to medical school after the Army and become a doctor. But life had other plans. When I got out, yeah. that's when uh, PTSD hit me, which kind of just stop me. I, I didn't I didn't want to go down that field anymore. Across the way, other vets are clearing up lingering misdemeanors still on their records. Many times the court fines are more than the vets can pay. So we've got uh, a number of cases here uh, that we're going to take care of today. So in most cases, the vets have the fine waived in exchange for community service. And Judge Louis Vega ends every case the same way. And that is granted. Thank you for your Take service, care, Mr. Todd. Thank you. These vets who put their lives on hold to serve their country are now getting their lives back on track. Mr. Curtis, your, your uh, fine has been waived. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for your Thank service. You, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC. And this is the 15th year there has been a stand down for homeless veterans in Kern County.